Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Tuesday morning. Here's your morning rush to start off your day. This morning, we are learning the names of the two men who died in a plane crash near Billard Airport. James Bergman of Leewood, Kansas, was the co pilot of the plane. William Leeds of Mission, Kansas, also died. KHP did not say if Leeds was a passenger or the pilot of the plane. And also new this morning, KHP says the plane was a PA 30 fixed wing multi engine aircraft. It says the plane missed the runway and struck the ground at a high rate of speed. The plane crashed and landed in a field between the runway and the taxi road to the airport terminal. James Guglielmonio is the registered owner of the plane. We do not know yet whether or not he or anyone else was in the plane at the time of the crash. And breaking news this morning, two people are in custody after a string of car break-ins. This all happened between West and Central Topeka from Washburn Avenue to Gage Boulevard between Huntoon Street and 17th Street. Police are not sure how many cars may have been burglarized overnight. They do say the first call came in around 2.30 this morning and have received more throughout the night and the morning. Police are driving around looking for more break-ins and they're also returning some of the stolen items. Items that they found. An attempted robbery in Oakland early on Saturday at Mike's IGA grocery store has the community trying to help out this morning. Whoever broke in tried to open a safe, and while doing so, they broke the security sensors off of the walls. The community is upset that this happened to their local grocery store, but they're even more upset it happened to the man who runs the store, Kent Frederick. Businesses like the Brass Rail Tavern and Front Door Catering are giving rewards for any information on the break-ins. The Topeka mayoral uh, primary election is today, beginning this morning at 7 o'clock. The polls will be open for voters. You can go to any of the 66 polling centers today. They will then close at 7 o'clock tonight. And if you didn't get a chance to put your mail-in ballot in the mail, you can still turn it in at the Shawnee County Election Office. And you can find a polling place near you on the Secretary of State website. All you need to vote is an ID, which your driver's license will work. You also must be a registered Shawnee County voter. In just, excuse me, in just a couple of hours, Vallejo will be given a quarter of a million dollars to add primary health care in their clinic. This is all thanks to the St. Francis Health Foundation. The original primary care clinic at Vallejo opened in 2013. Vallejo joined forces with St. Francis Health and Washburn University School of Nursing. However, last January, St. Francis announced it would launch a new medical record system that would cost too much money to include Vallejo. The company is hosting an official press conference at 11 o'clock this morning to announce the news.